Hello and welcome to this week's question with me, Mars Brining. So this week's question is, how do I copy an entire sketch and use it again in the same part or in a different part? Okay, so let's flip into SolidWorks and have a look how you do this. Okay, so I have a sketch here and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually add this into, or copy it into another part file. So I've got one loaded here. What I'm going to do is just open another file. So I've got a completely separate file here, which is a very simple example. It's just uh, a block. Okay. And I'm just going to use the control tab keys just to flip back into my other part. And I'm just going to go and select the sketch in the tree and then hold down control and press C. So all the commands in SolidWorks are very similar to those you get in Windows. The other way you can do it is go to the edit menu and then go copy here. So now I've copied it, I'm just going to use the control tab keys again and just flip back into my block. I'm going to select a face and I'm just going to hold down control and press V. And that's actually going to copy the sketch from the other part and then throw it onto the face and add it in as you can see here. Now when I edit this at the moment, this is even though like the profile is defined, I'm, it hasn't been hasn't got any external references outside of this sketch, so to speak. So I need to put something in here to try and tie it into position. So one way I could do that is maybe add a center line. So let's do it from maybe there to the origin. Do like using the center lines, and then maybe if we dimension it, so we we'll say, look, this is going to be seventy five millimeters. Then what I can do is maybe just extrude the thing. So let's just cut through. Let's do a through all condition. Like so. Now, say you've already applied the feature and you want to reuse the sketch which is already here. Well, another way I can do this is to hold down the control key and then drag the sketch from the tree here and then drop it onto another face and then let go of the mouse pointer first, then the control key. And you can see it has then copied the sketch onto that new face. Now it's still dangling at the moment, you can see. It's still it's still underdefined. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that line there. I'm just going to just reposition it with another center line and snap it to the maybe the midpoint of this, this top edge. Right, so again, let's add another dimension. Let's say 75 again on this face. And again, I can just cut through. You can use the control C, control V approach on, on in this part as well if you wanted to. But again, the drag is quite nice. It's very quick. All right, and you can copy your sketches around uh, in no time at all. Thanks for watching.